Hello, I'm Tom Jensen from Danfoss PL1 product support team and Today I will give you some important tips about the function and design of the pulse solenoid valve types EVRP6 and EVRP10 as well as important tips about how to correctly select and mount a coil for these valves. The only difference between the two valves is the capacity where EVRP10 has highest capacity. The EVRP6 to 10 valve is designed for and typically used for hot gas injection between an evaporator and an expansion valve, thereby providing a very precise evaporator capacity control. The valve is controlled in the same way as the electric expansion valve type AKVP used for liquid injection but the EVRP 6 to 10 is only for hot gas injection. This valve pulsing operation results in many valve activations, also called valve cycles over valve lifetime. Let's have a closer look at the EVRP 6 to 10 valve design to see how it is possible to achieve this high cycle rate. Here you'll see a design comparison between a standard EVR and the EVRP6 to 10. When standard EVR is energized, the armature contacts the armature tube top and compresses the armature spring, which returns the armature to closed position once the valve is de-energized. This constant movement during operation causes mechanical stress over valve lifetime and sets a limit in max cycle rates. The EVRP 6 to 10 does not include armature tube top and armature spring. It has a so called floating or loose armature, thereby reducing the mentioned mechanical stress. This loose armature is shown here when shaking the valve. You can hear the loose armature movement inside the valve. Now, there are some limitations with this floating armature design. Firstly, we need slightly longer armature tube, so armature does not contact the armature tube top when coil is energized, but is stopped and centered by the coil magnetic field, as illustrated here. This affects coil selection and mounting, which you'll see later. Secondly, the longer armature stroke of EVRP 6 to 10, as seen here, reduces MOPD performance. This is why specified MOPD of 21 bar is only for gas and significantly lower for liquid, only approximately 10 bar. Thirdly, there are limitations in valve installation angle, as seen here, since there is no armature spring to force down the armature only gravity. And finally, the larger air gap of EVRP 6 to 10, as seen here, increases coil power consumption, especially for AC voltage coils, as illustrated here. This means that special low wattage 24 volt AC or DC coils are needed to avoid coil overheating and burnout. This illustrated and summarized here. Only two special coils are available for EVRP 6 to 10. Let us then have a look how to mount a coil on the EVRP 6 to 10 valve. Here you see all parts included in valve and coil deliveries. Due to the longer armature tube, it is not possible to use a clip-on type coil. Therefore, the coil is fixed by means of a nut and a spacer ring is needed to compensate the longer armature tube. The coil is mounted and removed as shown here.
And if any questions related to this topic, please feel free to contact the PL1 product support team. Thanks for watching.